Regenocyte Therapeutic is a world leader in stem cell therapy. They're dramatically improving the lives of people who've been diagnosed with life-altering cardiac and vascular diseases. And joining us to talk about Regenocyte Therapeutics is Dr. Zanis Krakos. He's the Director of Cardiology and Vascular Diseases. And Barbara McKeon, oh, praise God to this one. She's a stem cell therapy patient. She was treated in November of 2008 for severe lung disease. She's doing fantastic. I'm so glad to have both of you here today. We're thrilled to be here. You were here uh, last year. About a year uh, I ago. know a lot has gone on uh, since then, but for people who are just tuning in, they hear stem cell therapy, they hear stem cells, and it, it, politically speaking, it's kind of a hot topic. But I want to talk about the differences between what, you, what you're doing with your company, adult stem cells, and then there's embryonic stem cells. Can you give me kind of a little cliff note version of what's up with yeah, both the, of those? There's a big difference, and that's one of the things that Regenocyte is focused on, is educating the public. Um, embryonic are cells that come from uh, in vitro fertilization clinics, and that's where all the controversy, first of all, is surrounding. Right. But also, these cells are from somebody else, so there's issues with rejection and also a high risk of cancer. Okay. So the, the FDA and uh, the medical community are very, very concerned with the use of embryonic stem cells. So they're really not embracing that uh, as much as... as exactly. Okay. Not embracing it, uh, very hesitantly looking at it. Uh, we have not done any human trials yet, so we've never actually treated anybody with embryonic cells. Now, what's kind of, what is stem cell therapy exactly? Because you're using adult stem cells. We're using adult stem cells. These cells come from the patient themselves. Okay. So they're your own cells. And these cells are tiny little cells that float around and they're made to repair wear and tear and damage on our own bodies. What we do is we take them out from the body with a, just a simple blood draw, as if you were donating blood, okay. and uh, extract out the stem cells and then we activate them and multiply them. So we supercharge them and then we put them back into whatever organ is damaged or diseased, such as heart attack or, or lungs in, in Barbara's case. Now, let's talk about Barbara. Oh, Barbara, yeah. tell me about your condition and what you were diagnosed with. Okay, I had a condition of COPD. Okay. And it was in stage. And um, on, Were you on oxygen? I was on oxygen, uh, yeah, 24-7, uh, and, and a lot of oxygen. And you're a young woman, too. Yeah. To be, Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but, I mean, to be on oxygen constantly, uh, happily married, but you can't get around because you can't do an awful lot. It's very difficult, and it's very difficult for your care, <laughs> with your caregiver. Uh, now, you were a smoker? Oh, yes, were you? I you was. Were, you yeah. were, okay. And I know that there are a lot of you who are saying, okay, I have, I have COPD. I have, I have some of these issues. Um, tell me what happened, because your husband happened upon an article by happen, happenstance, mm -hmm. didn't he? Yes, he did. We were at the dentist. I was getting dental work done, and... He, he loves to read just about anything that's around, and he opened a health and wellness magazine, and uh, he saw the ad, and it says a breath of life. And he read it, and it was about uh, Dr. Grana, uh, Dr. Greco's um, seminar he has about, about monthly, don't you? And so uh, we went to the seminar. And the rest is like history. And you, you ha so you had the procedure done, mm -hmm. uh, and the procedure was done in November. Mm -hmm. And how long was it before you noticed positive effects? Well, I noticed positive effects right away. I, I really did. I had a feeling of of well-being, head to toe, um, the, the very next day. And then, um, uh, two days before Christmas on December 23rd. Um, it was just like a defining moment. I woke up and I just, I told my husband, I don't need the oxygen. Wow. Now. So you were on it 24-7. Mm -hmm. Now you're not on it. Yeah, I am not on it at all. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it went to reduce to two, two liters and then completely off. I want to, Dr. Gregos, I want to talk about some of the other, that's, this is amazing news. But there are so many amazing stories like this. And I know you're going to have the seminar, but what are some of the other health conditions that they're using with stem cell therapy? Well, some of the major conditions that we're having a lot of success, success with is uh, heart disease. Patients that have suffered heart damage from heart attacks or uh, even viruses where their hearts have enlarged, mm -hmm. we're able to regenerate the damaged heart tissue and improve the heart function. Uh, we're also using it for patients that are starting to show some senile dementia. Really? Where the brain, oh, absolutely where the brain is starting to uh, just kind of wear and tear and 
Uh, you just see somebody that you love deteriorating in front of you, and the stem cells will actually regenerate the blood circulation to the brain and the, uh, the brain cells as well. And remember, everybody, they're taking your... It's your, oh, yeah, it's your own stem cells. Your own stem cells. And this is work that's being done internationally. We're also doing a lot of clinical studies uh, here in the U.S. But this as far as availability brilliant. goes, um, it's just it, it, it's nice Let's to make that so available. That's so exciting for you to, to be able to share with the public. Now, I want to talk about this seminar because that's, you're going to cover everything uh, when, uh, when they come to do this. And this, this is a free seminar. This is a, it's a free seminar. It's an educational seminar. And we'll cover all the scientific aspects of it. Um, the data, the clinical results, and we'll even have some patients there that can answer some questions as far as what their experience is. Are we going to be there? I'll be there. Oh, yeah. yes, you're so excited about oh. this. Mm -hmm. Now, the number to call is 1 866 216 5710. I know when you were on the last time, you had a seminar and it was so well received. It was. Um, we were able to help a lot of people through that uh, transfer of information. And that's really all we're interested in doing is educating the public and uh, letting them know that there's options out there. Even though they've been told they, there are no options, there are now. There Guess really what? are. There are options. But sometimes, it, sometimes to me, it takes a miracle. And a miracle can, can happen on looking, flying through a magazine or mm -hmm. turning on the that's television right. set mm -hmm. and seeing somebody and hearing their story. And that's how the miracle can come about. So I'm so glad. God bless you. I'm so glad that you're happy and healthy. Thank you It's so wonderful much. news, and yeah. thank you for all your great work, Dr. Oh, Franco. thank you very so much. so good to see you. Thank you for having Come us. Come see them. Go to the seminar. You're going to really love it, and you're going to love all of the information that you're going to get, and hopefully it'll, it'll save you or save somebody that you love. But still to come, we have a lot going on. Do you know how to make a great first impression for a job interview or a date? Well, there's a system that won't fail you, so go get that notepad. And now, would you eat what you're putting in your dog's dish? You won't believe the horrible things you may be feeding your pets and how it can affect them. And we're going to set.